Hey everyone, the next thing I'm going to do on this server setup is the SNMP server. So I'll just do that now. Right, so for that, sudo apt-get install snmpd. Okay, done. Alright, that's it, but that's not it. I've got to do the config file. Okay, you've got to be sudo for this, so via yeah. um, etc snmp snmpd.conf. So all I've got to do here, you can change the location. That's all I really do is garage, don't bother with anything else. And okay, this looks to have changed since the last time I did it because um, the one I have on my other systems has a capital there, but I guess it doesn't matter. The main thing is uh, UDP port 161. So it'll actually listen on that. Now it says by default it listens to it, but I've always had to put that there before. Okay, so this has actually changed from the last time I did it. But um, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go with what I know works, which is that. So I'll comment that one out. Now for the RO community, which is, you know, who's allowed to read from it, I usually just stick a new one in here and I keep it simple. Public is the um, community I use. And I'll just do it for all my networks. And there's a little bit more that I add to the end of this. So I add don't log TCP wrappers connects true. If I don't do that, what happens is every five minutes when LibreNMS polls this device, it puts um, syslog entries in, which just fills it up with crap that I don't need. Even though, yes, it's UDP, this is the config to stop that from filling up the logs. And the other one I do, which I'm going to copy so I don't make a mistake, is add an extension in there. So these extends are basically a command that it will run uh, when it gets this um, SNMP request. So there's a distro. When the word distro comes in, it runs that, that command. And I'll show you what that is in a second. So I'll just firstly restart that. Service um, SNMPD restart. Okay. Um, the distro thing, at the moment, it won't do anything because it's not on there. But I've got it on this local computer here. So if I go here, let's make that big for you. Distro simply passes back the distro. So LibreNMS can make a nice little... Um, icon for that for that distro. So that comes from LibreNMS themselves and it's here. So given that in the config that was to go to user bin that's where I've got to put it. So what I'm going to do I've got it here I'll just um, SCP it distro distro and of course I've got root access to the server now so I can just go one or two one eight one one user bin and it should pop straight in there. So now on the server Distro will, will say something. So that's that. And I've already got it added to LibreNMS, so that should work. I'll just do a um, rediscover. Okay, so here's my server. It knows it's up. Hasn't got much traffic on there for a while since I took it down yesterday morning, obviously. I've got a new server and I didn't have any SMP monitoring on it. Um, but that will come up soon. So what I'll do is I'll just um, do a discover again. Okay. And I'll do a quick poll as well. Even though that's probably not enough to start populating the graphs yet. But it's there. It'll get there. So I like to have SNMP monitoring on all my devices here, especially the server. So I can see historical stuff here like, you know, network traffic and processor usage, memory and disk space and all that. So anyway, that'll do for now. Till next time, take it easy.